do these ones, I'm going to actually dry this area off so that it will act as my second pair of hands. I'm going to peel this off. And I've taped it so we have a, a seam here, so these two pieces are separated. And I've taped it at the top to keep it together so it doesn't rip. So it comes, so it comes off as one piece. I'm going to stick that on there. Kind of like where it needs to be. And slowly pull this off so that right here it doesn't rip. And we're good. And then I'm going to reverse roll it onto the vehicle. It's two separate pieces here, so you're going to watch. Make sure you don't touch it every That one. So then you're going to start to peel this off. I'm going to spray this again. Again, make sure when you're lifting this up that you don't rip it here because it's dry under there, right? Get this wet so it moves around nicely. So always like analyze your piece before you start to see where you should start. Um, because these are two separate pieces, I'm probably gonna start in this area and work my way this way and then work my way that way. Just kind of get it in place where it should go. Because this keeps sliding now, I'm just going to spray alcohol right in that tip to lock that into place. If you drop your squeegee, make sure you wipe it off before you squeegee onto the material so you don't have any rocks. So I just locked that in. And now because it's two pieces, I want to try and lock this in first and then go that way. So I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol right there. Get that little piece locked in. Good. And now we're a little bit short here, so I want to pull this corner down as far as I can and lock it in place. That's better. Got that locked in. And now I'm just going to go straight up with that piece. Make sure that it's moving around. Try to do it so that you don't have to trim anything off. You might have to trim like this little piece here, but that's not a huge deal. Squeegeeing. And then if you get these fingers on the side, you can just spray alcohol directly into those spots. Push them out. If they're really big, then you have to figure out either you have to pull this piece down to get rid of those, or you need to pull it like up to get rid of those if they don't lay down. It should be pretty good. So that whole section is kind of laid now. So now I can move on to either doing the bottom or the top. I think I'm going to do the bottom first because I'm closest to that spot. I'm going to spray alcohol or soapy water under there again. And the next thing I have to worry about is my um, sensor. So I can see that I didn't weed this out. It's easier to pop it out um, when you're doing the vehicle, just for the fact that um, it doesn't create like another seam when you're unrolling it because it's stuck on the paper. Okay, so now we have to move this over to get that locked into place. So I'm gonna spray alcohol right on the sensor, making sure that this is slippery, and I'm gonna pull it and line it up. And I still gotta watch this line and this line and the circle line. So there's a few things that you gotta look at while you're pulling it. Make sure you're not pulling it crooked. Lock your circle in. And then you can squeeze the rest of this out. Up or down, or wherever, whatever edge is open, you can squeeze it to. And make sure that you're getting inside that groove really good. So I'm using this part of my squeegee to really get in there. And then you can do like again at the top 
other side. Just make sure that there's no water stuck in there. Put that down. And then we're going to bring this piece around. And again, this piece has to go up and around here. And then also this has to match up here. So we are going to stretch it just a little bit. So I'm going to push with my palm to create the round effect underneath here. So that it's lined up. Push out to that spot. Again, in that crease with my squeegee, still following that same line. I'm pushing the water out that way. Double squeegeeing and then just locking this edge in once I get here. And if it doesn't lay down, just give it a little bit of alcohol. Try and lay it down. And then just re-squeegee. Take a piece of paper towel or a microfiber at this point and make sure that you didn't leave any um, bubbles. And make sure that that top edge is locked in, otherwise water will just keep coming down. So now we do the top. Spray this with soapy water again. You're always gonna lift it up and spray where you haven't done yet, making sure that it's gonna move around for you. So our next half point is right here and right here. So we wanna make sure that it's kind of like coming around there, but not coming too short here and not going too short up there either. It's better to be a little bit long because we can always trim that off. So I'm actually going to curve that piece first, but at the same time, making sure that this is laying down too. So I'm pushing like into that direction so that I can create it to go around this hump and laying as flat as possible there. And from the bottom, I'm just gonna squeeze all that water out. Lock that corner in. We're a little bit long here, so it's probably not gonna lay down completely yet until I trim that, that's okay. And this one, it looks good. It doesn't look like a hard finger, so I should be able to just lay that down with some alcohol. If it was pointier, then I would have to stretch a little bit more to get it around that corner, like pull it this way more so that it like lay down. But we are good. So then, once you get into this spot, you want to kind of tuck this in um, because if you leave it out and you lock this top edge, um, you have nowhere for this water to go. So what you want to do first is get it kind of like tucked in that spot so that you can see if your line is actually lining up because if it's like this, it's not lined up and then you go to push it in and it actually makes it short. So, but our next tack point is actually over here. I just want to make sure that, that that's going to be lining up good. So I'm going to spray a little bit right there and pull this up into that corner lock that little corner in. And now I wanna make sure I'm not too short here, which I'm good. And I'm just gonna use my finger to guide that piece in over to enough. And then I'm gonna spray alcohol right after that. So I'm using my fingers, because the squeegees are hard to get in that groove. I'm just going to squeegee that out that way and bring, and I'm holding here so that it doesn't keep coming down. So I'm just leaving my finger there until I can get all of this water and stuff out of the way so it doesn't move on me. So then these last little fingers, we should be able to just get those with the alcohol. Again, I'm a little tiny bit long here, right here. So it might not lay down over here. Oh, and then again, really make sure that you got all the water out of this crevice, which I did not. You can see over here. Let's see, we got a water bubble right here. Push that out. Sometimes you might have to do it five or six times, just going over it to make sure that the water's not coming out. Okay, so now from here, we locked that in, but we can always lift it up. Um, so that we can keep going. So I'm gonna lock that back in up there. And then bring this around this corner and I wanna lock it on this side as soon as it comes over this corner. 
So again, I'm using my whole palm because we have these fingers here and here. I really want to pull that in there. So if I pull, see how it lays down? So I want to get it nice and flat and tuck that around that corner. And then push all that water out. That one, same thing. If I pull it this way, see how it relaxes that and makes it go away. I'm actually going to spray a little bit of alcohol in that corner. But as soon as I get that over there, it's going to stay. And then same thing, just making sure that I get all the water out on this corner. And re-squeegeeing it again, just making sure that I got all the water out. That's it. Then you heat it.